Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Pisces Soul Tribe, what's going on you guys? Um, hopefully this message finds you in good favor and that you are doing well on your journey. And if you feel you are, my intention of course is to grab a word from the divine to help you to continue to move forward on your journey. Pisces Soul Tribe, I'm going to get into a general read for you guys. And of course, anything that you need from me can be found down below in the, um, in the description box. Pisces, let's see um, who's in your energy. Um, I'm going to grab four of the what's the tea just to see. And then we'll definitely grab some um, insight from those with um, some tarot. <clears throat> Spirit, who's in Pisces energy? Can I have one? So caught a case, um, sexual infection, sexual disease, um, rash, etc. <laughs> That's aggressive. Um, Self-explanatory. <laughs> But we will see. Um, what else? Who else? Um, wants you back. Hmm. I feel like that's self-explanatory too. But I, I just get the, you know, strange. Not even strange. I get the feeling that you already know this, um, Pisces. Hmm. What else? So wasting time, um, stuck, no changes, um, limited. Um, I feel like it's just as it says. I feel like somebody is wasting their time with possibly trying to interact with you again. I'm getting a sense of you also just honestly ignoring, ignoring someone at this present time. What else is important? So fake smiles. I feel like this is somebody who's um, close to you, possibly a friend. Um, fake accounts is at the bottom um, of the deck So there's definitely a strong emphasis on somebody um, watching you I feel like this is, um, you know, a jealous energy There's somebody who um, is close to you who is um, quietly hating They're quietly hating <clears throat> Caught a case So unbothered um, Somebody's lying Somebody's lying or somebody's ignoring and like I feel like there's this sense of you honestly not really needing to be worried about anything at this at, the, at this moment like I feel like somebody's um, gone through their health screens they, they've had their checks they've gone through everything um, that 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 you needed to to make sure you were good and like I feel like somebody's coming back to you possibly in your previous energy um, that was promiscuous um, over overly promiscuous um, and they're possibly coming back to you saying that they that they caught something. And they're possibly saying that they caught it from you. But, like, I feel like you know that that's a lie because um, you're good and you take care of yourself. Um, wants you back. So, no facts. Never has the facts. Makes shit up. Um, lies. So, this is definitely somebody in your energy. Can I get a, can we get some good energy? <laughs> well, um, this is somebody in your energy, um, honestly, who has been lying, who has been making, who has been making things up. Um, this is definitely someone um, that you've dealt with romantically, but there's also this sense of really somebody really truly wanting you back. Like, I feel like this is possibly somebody who's gone through some type of transformation, um, some type of um, some type of rebirth. And like, I feel like they now want to come back and, and, and present an offer to you something that feels more stable, um, something that is based on truth. But we'll see. Wasting time. Um, dirt digging. I'm looking for um, dirt on you or vice versa. Um, you could be wasting your time, but like, I feel like you're not. I feel like Pisces, as the energy that I've been getting for Pisces lately is um, you're in spaces, minding your business, doing things that you need to do in order to progress you f um, further and forward um, is also um, what I'm hearing. But somebody is wasting their time trying to dig up some type of information on you, possibly um, digging up things to see possibly what you're doing, where you are, seeing um, if you're possibly um, dating someone, um, maybe be possibly trying to figure out if 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 you know you're caught with the you're not caught if you're in pictures with the same person um is this somebody that you're um 
I'm being intimate with. Like, I feel like this is somebody who's wasting their time because they're never going to see it. They're never going to figure out um, and they're never going to get it unless they hear it from somebody that's very close to you. But like, I feel like, as I said, Pisces right now are like real, true, strong high priestess mode where you're really not speaking up about a lot of things uh, right now because your business is your business. Fake smiles. So creeping, as I said, um, a very quiet energy. This is somebody who's very sneaky. Um, this is somebody who's um, honestly doing things um, in the dark. Like, I feel like this is also somebody who, honestly, as I said, who is very close to you. Um, this is a person who um, will smile and act like they're happy for you. But honestly, I feel like they're really not. I feel like this is somebody, honestly, who is honestly in a mode of really trying to um, honestly end, end things for you. No, I don't want to use this deck. I do not want to use that. Fit light sears. <clears throat> okay, so caught a case and unbothered. As I said, like I feel like Pisces, um, this is something that's not really concerning you. Like I really truly feel like you listened to somebody, um, you heard somebody out um concerning this. Um, I, you know, I know you told them, you know, everything good with you. You even probably even sent them screenshots or snapshots of, um, re recent tests that you, that you had done to, you know, actually even verify it. And like, I feel like you really truly just honestly could just go into a space where you're truly unbothered because maybe possibly, um, excuse me, you're, you're moving into spaces where you've um, already established other relationships, other bonds. But like, I feel like somebody's just moved into a space where you're really truly focused on you and what you feel your purpose is. But let's see, what is this spirit? So Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. Um, I feel like this is someone um, coming in, um, Honestly, wanting to offer some sense of an apology um, for making the wrong decisions, possibly for putting for uh, possibly putting you at risk, um, Pisces. But I feel like this is the way somebody always comes back. Somebody always comes back with some type of melanase and fanfare. They come back with roses in their hands. They come back trying to sway and woo you. Um, but their methods and tricks are always the same with the six of cups. Always the same. It just feels like the same type of, um, same type of energy, but let's see. Knight of cups. <laughs> As I said, ace of pentacles wanting to offer you something. I feel like this is somebody really, uh, really, truly wanting to offer some sense of, um, as I said, some type of an apology. But like, I feel like at this present time, um, there's also a sense of possibly um, you holding back as well. You holding back, not really, truly wanting to be bothered with that. Like, I feel like you're really, truly um, guarding your energy right now because you're, 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 um, you're birthing something. You're creating something. You're nurturing something. You're nurturing yourself. King of Wands, but it did come out in reverse. So this is somebody, honestly, I feel like trying to trick you. They're, you're trying to use some type of an apology to honestly get you in a bed is what I feel. It's just what I feel. Um, possibly to um, impregnate you. And I may not even necessarily be talking about a real pregnancy. Um, let's see. King of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups. I feel like you, you're you in a space where, honestly, like le legit, you're in a space where, honestly, you can really truly forgive somebody and just go about your business. Um, that's what I feel like this is. Um, a sense of needing to have some type of compassion, listening to somebody, hearing somebody out, like really, truly understanding where, where you know, where they're coming from and what it is, um, extending your, your, you know, your regrets and, you know, letting them know what you want. But still, honestly, your concern is you. Your concern is healing. Your concern is honestly just meditating, contemplating on what it is. What's next for you? What else?
King of Pentacles. Somebody's in a space where honestly, as I said, like I feel like somebody is either moving to a space of solid, more you know, more grounded spaces, more um, more uh, solid forms of stability, or you could also be involved with somebody who is definitely more stable. You could be in some some sort of unionship partnership, uh, maybe even a possible new marriage is also what I'm hearing. And like I feel like somebody is always. You know, every so often coming into your energy to try to present something to you, to try to pre to try to trick you, to try to sway you. But like, I feel like somebody's just come to some 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 Pisces has just come to a place where honestly you have matured, you have grown, you have developed, and you also have started to expand. And like, I feel like you're starting to see your ships come in, and like, I feel like that's where your focus is. Um, what is this? Wants you back, um, but no facts, always lying makes shit up so the five of swords came out as well as the six of swords in reverse so there's somebody here who honestly is really truly feeling um, a sense of defeat defeat not really truly wanting something to be over possibly wishing you would come back to them as well what else So Queen of Swords um, in reverse, like I feel like this is somebody who honestly is um, spiteful. <clears throat> um, this is somebody who honestly is saying all wild kinds of things. This is a liar. <laughs> Queen of Swords in reverse. And this is a petty, this is a petty bitch too. Petty. Um, three of um, pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, there's somebody who's um, possibly possibly wanting to, you know, reestablish some some types of ground with you. Uh, want to work with work with you, but like I feel like there's really truly no sense of change here. Like I feel like you've changed, you've grown, you've put an end to something so that you can start something else. And like I feel like this person is wishing um, that you will come back because they're in some type of separated um, energy. I feel like this is also somebody who is angry what else okay um eight of cups this is something that you've definitely walked away from pisces um something that you don't have time for with the hermit at the bottom of the deck this sense of introspection this sense of discovery this sense of enlightening yourself um wanting to know honestly why some things in your life did happen why some people in your life did leave understanding what is the purpose um and honestly focusing on what it is you want to manifest and create eight of cups eight of swords um you have some sort of an epiphany some sense of clarity on what it is you need to do moving forward um i also feel like you did discover what the truth was behind some sort of conflict um, some sort of conflict you know what the truth is I feel like with the moon the six of um, the six of wands as well as the ten of pentacles um, somebody is on their way to some form of, of major stability on your way to being honestly being put out being seen like I feel like somebody is about somebody's blessings are coming in Somebody's rewards are coming in. Somebody's good karma um, is coming in. Um, there's been a lot of unexpected with the high priestess um, at the bottom of the deck. There's this sense of knowing um, that something is on its way. And like, I feel like with some some sort of clarity, some sort of truth that you learned about a situation, uh, which was purposeful. I feel like there was um, divine purpose in this as well. Like, I feel like with something ending, you were able to step into real true abundance. I feel like there were blockages, there were blockages tied to um, someone that somebody was with. And with ending that cycle. Because that cycle has gone on, on and off, on and off, on and off. And like, I feel like with it finally being over, with it finally being ended, um, there's room for you to really, truly grow, to expand. Uh, what else? With the hermit, there was this sense of you knowing that you, you need to be to yourself. There's something that you need to discover. 
because there was a lot of toxicity um, possibly falling um, around you. People wanting to keep you trapped in cycles um, is also what I'm hearing because like I feel like this is what this is. Like I feel like somebody really truly is missing your energy. And like I really truly do feel like possibly at one point in time this previous person this this person that's wanting to come back that's wanting to come in that's that you know that's feeling left out that's feeling spiteful that's feeling defeated i feel like this possibly could have been a soulmate to you somebody who could have been a a, a divine partner to you i do but like i feel like a lot of things like really truly got in the way of that i feel like someone also couldn't get past something as well but like there was this sense of you knowing that you needed to walk away from something but there's this sense of clarity um why the hermit justice some sense of balance um some sense of you being where you're supposed to be like i feel like for for a long a, a long a long period of time someone someone was on the wrong side of the scale and you were the reason why things were imbalanced but like I feel like with this ending this this just seems faded like it seemed like it was purposeful it was supposed to happen this way there was supposed to be this build up that was happening for you to finally understand your worth is also what I'm hearing with the lovers at the bottom of the deck for you to possibly walk into what really truly is somebody really truly choosing you um is what I'm hearing why the justice the number 11 is very significant. It really, truly caught my eye. Um, so the death and rebirth, as well as the star, um, there's this sense of really, truly going after what you really, truly want to go after. And they really, truly ending things to really step into where you belong. Something that was very meaningful you, meaningful to you. Something that's also very important to you. Um, there's also the fool. There's a lot of newness on the way for someone. And I wouldn't want this person to get in your way of you, of this happening to you. But you could already be out of this space. But this energy is also still present. Hmm. I feel like I need to switch decks. That's rare. Okay. So let's see. What's this wasting time and dirt digging? Okay, that was very fast. So the fool. So that's why I needed to get a new deck. So the fool was at the bottom of the uh, of, of the other deck. Am I right about it? I did shuffle it quite a few times. But there's a new start that someone is um, about to be um, open to. Um, the high priestess is at the bottom of this deck as well. There's a sense of love being on the way. Um, I see a heart on her on on her lips. I've never actually really paid attention to that. I feel like someone knows. There's a knowing that love is on the way. That some form of love is on the way. Some form of partnership um, as well is also what I'm hearing for some of you because it's not all about love. Possible friendships, soul tribes. What's this for? So the six of coins, um, this sense of balance. I feel like there's this sense of divine. Like, I feel like, honestly, like, check this out. So there's a reaching that's happening here. There's an extension um, that's happening here. Like, I feel like somebody is, is, is getting an extension of grace. Um, a reward is also just what I'm what I'm hearing with justice at the bottom of the deck. There is this sense of something um, belonging to you. Something now being given to you is also what I'm hearing. And like I feel like somebody's waste, wasting their time, you know, trying to figure things out. This is going to happen all of a sudden. You won't be able to find this because it doesn't exist. It's just going to happen. And this is what's fair is also what I'm hearing. It belongs to you is also what I'm hearing. Six of coins. So knight of coins, um, something, um, knight of cups, excuse me. Um, something that, that, that belongs to you. As I said, there's this flow, um, of things just being attracted to you. Things that, that, that you find very close, very near, very dear, very intimate. There's a lot of, there's a lot of emotion, you know, within this offering, and as I said, there's a sense of honestly somebody who, you know, having gone through 
through through things there's a sense of this being brought in to cure something is also what i'm hearing to heal some space what else <laughs> two so the page of swords and the lovers i feel like there's somebody who's somebody who's watching you Somebody who wants to choose you, and like I feel like with this wanting to choose you, um, they're 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 observing, um, to possibly see how how what best what approach is best, and possibly timing, how they want to approach you as well. Page of Swords. Hmm. Six of Swords. Um, there's this sense of just moving forward to calmer, peaceful waters, peaceful environments. And like, I feel like somebody is honestly seeing you do that in some way. It's not like not watching you, um, maybe possibly with some of the, some things that you post on um, social media, possibly. Maybe you post um, stories or you post like a little, you know, little spurts, little burst um, every now and then letting people know you're OK. But like I feel like there's this honestly this sense of wanting wanting to approach you, but like I feel like someone's um also possibly waiting as well. Six of Swords. Um, High Priestess, but it was in reverse. So there's a sense of as I said of someone being quiet right now. Um, someone's being really truly quiet about what they know. Um. Someone's being very still, as I said, very still. Um, there's also this strong sense of knowing that maybe right now is not the best time. Hmm. So King of Cups, as well as the Seven of Coins, there's this sense of uh, honestly, um, possibly someone wanting to really, truly um, invest in you. And they're keeping that quiet right now. But with this King of Cups, this is somebody who's very um, emotionally mature. Um, this is someone who, who ebbs and flows through emotions very well. Um, this is someone who um, also has a self um, awareness of, some, of, of compassion. I feel like this is also someone who um, honestly um, is good, good at speech. Um, I know this is not the king of swords, but this is someone who's really good at speech because they understand compassion and they're able to touch people in places that um, other people can't reach. They understand emotions. Last one. Hmm. The moon. So some some sense of illusion possibly or they're they're now about to speak up because this is giving me high priestess by the moon and the high priestess um so i feel like this 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 sense of being quiet is now about to be revealed yeah this sense of of honestly let's okay let's see what's this what's the illusion being revealed King of Coins. Um, someone wanting to offer you some secure abundance, secure stability. Um, this is somebody who I feel like is an emperor. I'm seeing a lot of kings. I'm not seeing a lot of transformative energy. Um, I'm definitely getting that this may possibly be some type of em emperor as well. But like I, I would say honestly, um, like I feel like you know that something is on the way. And maybe that something might be love. But it may also come with your abundance as well. Creeping and fake smiles. Um, so will of fortune. So I feel like there's somebody honestly who's watching your your abundance, your your justice, what's fair to you. Someone's someone's seeing your good karma come in. And like I feel like this is somebody who actually is in your energy and this bitch is I said it. This bitch is jealous. Somebody's jealous and it's actually really funny. Um, because like, I feel like when, when you, when you were on the downside of things and you saw people growing, you saw people, you know, getting their goods, you, you were happy for these people. You encourage these people and you bless these people. And like, I feel like now there's just honestly a sense of someone being jealous because now you have plenty of choices. You have options or they see you possibly moving into that space where you are getting some type of wish fulfillment. I feel like you're also getting what's promised to you as well. 
And like I feel like somebody's just jealous What else With the two of swords Somebody really truly made, needing to make a difficult decision And like I feel like this somebody needing to make this difficult decision Possibly is you Possibly knowing that this, this person is jealous And knowing that it's possible that you may need to leave this person behind The tower There's a sense of uh, a, a painful transition I feel like this is also possibly somebody that you love Somebody that you cared about And like I feel like with them acting a fool You had to call judgment But let's see Two of swords So three of swords, something that really, truly broke your heart, a heartbreaking decision. And like, I feel like this was a five of coins. So somebody was definitely left out in the cold or, or somebody in the future will be left out in the cold because of their despicable behavior. I feel like this is also somebody who's projecting some type of ill will or some type of um, misfortune on you as well um, with the world because you decided to um, be triumphant and complete a cycle. End things as they are supposed to be ended Is also what I'm hearing Somebody was led to Excuse me Somebody was guided to end things Three of swords Ace of cups Some emotional readiness And uh, being ready for a new, an, an offer Something that really truly delights you I feel like there was also Just truly honestly With this previous space The space of conflict um, With somebody else And like I feel like you're getting what's fair. I'm seeing a lot of aces, a lot of new opportunities, a lot of new op offers, things clearing up. Someone did a lot of work. And like I feel like in due time, you're gonna get what get what's coming to you. Get what's fair. Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands. I feel like somebody stays um resilient despite oppositions. Despite things that that have ha that have happened to you, I I feel like there was one once upon a time where somebody felt like they were they were stuck, where you felt like you were imprisoned, and like I feel like that prison was, of course, self imposed. Someone felt like they were in bondage, but like I feel like there are there are a lot of new opportunities, a lot of new things headed someone's way. Um, while the seven of wands. Five of Wands, as I said, being resilient amongst in the midst of conflict. I feel like you stand alone amongst a lot of people. And like I feel like people are petrified at the fact that despite everything that, that they have done, everything that they might have tried to do, they failed. They failed. And like I feel like they're now because this could be multiple individuals as well. I feel like multiple people are about to see you shine is what I'm hearing. Five of Swords. I feel like this is you. You had to you had to do it ruthlessly. It's you against many people. What else? The number five is very significant. Fifty five as well. So the Empress, yes. You're 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 birthing something. You're nurturing something. I feel like something is about to about to come to life. I feel like something is about to come to life And you've had to wait You've had to wait But you waiting was purposeful Something had to grow Something had to expand The conditions had to be right The foundation um, had to be laid and set What else? Why the Empress? So the Hangman I feel like this is, this is something you did Somebody sac was self-sacrificing and because of what you did, like because of the things that you've done, the way you presented yourself to a lot of people, despite what they've presented to you, I feel like there's some type of reward that's on, on the way. And like, I feel like this is an, that, that's the type of energy that's here to stay. Like it's going to remain present because it's going to change your perspective on even how you view life, um, even at this present moment. Pisces Soul Tribe, that was the reading. Um, hopefully this message resonated with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you were able to take something from it that you can use. Pisces, of course, if there's anything that you need from me, you can find those details down below in the description box. And as always, Pisces Soul Tribe, remember to conquer this day. Bye, guys.